Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com, and today we're going to be discussing the word film look. At the end of the day, what is the film look? It's a bit hard to explain this for the current generation, but um, if you're my generation, uh, for a very long time, there was cinema or, or feature films. Feature films were shot on film, actual strips of film. And there was TV. TV was shot using electronic camera, whether analog or digital, but there was no actual film in the camera. The camera recorded everything electronically into an electronic tape. And for a very long time, these two worlds had two different looks entirely. So uh, the film cameras were really superior uh, in terms of resolution, color depth. Uh, they just recorded everything in a better way, which means that uh, feature films adopted this technology and it was the standard. And then there was TV. TV worked with a lower resolution, faster frame rates. We don't want to get into technicalities, but TV looked different than film. TV refers to programs that were shot specifically to be viewed on televisions. And uh, these programs did not use film to capture the images at all. Because sometimes you have uh, a feature film that was actually captured on uh, film, but you can view it on TV by converting the film to TV. So even though you're viewing it on TV, it's not TV. It's still film that is being shown on TV. So you have these two different looks. And for a very long time, you couldn't cross the barrier. Film was superior for like at least 60 or 70 years. And uh, uh, the digital or analog mediums of, of, um, of capturing images on, on the TV side couldn't compete with film at all. Then HD happened. All of a sudden, digital cameras became uh, able to record HD movies, which started to get very close in resolution to the uh, cameras that use film. Uh, and then uh, the digital world got better. We got into 4K, high bit depth, and, and all of a sudden now, uh, uh, feature films themselves, for the most part, not all of them, uh, abandoned shooting on actual film, and everybody is shooting digital now. Just look at the Aria Alexa, <laughs> it's shooting all the new movies digitally. So all of a sudden, we're all shooting digitally, and no one is shooting on actual film. Again, what is the film look? Well, in the 60 or 70 years that film was uh, superior, when people used to go to the movies to watch a film, they got used to a particular look. For example, films ran at 24 frames per second. So naturally, we all got used to this particular look being high-end. Because remember, the movies, other than filming in 24 frames per second, uh, had very high production quality. And our brains, over a long period of time, associated the very high production quality with this particular frame rate. So 24 frames, uh, the picture seems a bit choppy for a lot of people, but we like this look. We grew to get used to it and love it over time. So film look, for the more, initially, meant uh, shooting 24 frames per second. I remember when we first got our digital camera that actually shot in 24 frames per second. We were a bit excited. <laughs> I was very excited, actually. So, however, still, what does the film look mean? Well, film look simply means for our films to imitate feature film production in terms of look quality, and the overall feel. So it's pretty simple. Whatever we see in feature films, high budget films, we need to imitate that with our small SLR cameras and, 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 and other cameras, and we need to get that look, and that look would be the film look. However, that look is a combination of a lot of things. It's not simply shooting in 24p. And let's just say that once I saw an Aria Alexa uh, in the hands of a guy who didn't know what exactly what he was doing with it, and the image coming out of the Aria Alexa was uh, questionable. 
at the time because, you know, it's not his fault. The guy did not know what he was doing, and he thought that simply by using an Arri Alexa with um, and shooting a certain frame rate, he will get the film look. The film look is is basically having everything done right in your film. So, for example, the set design must be good. The selection of lenses the depth of field you use, the colors in your image, which is a part of the set design, um, the frame rate you're using, the color grading, the audio, how clear the audio is, how good the audio is, still a part of the overall film look. And whenever I release a video on the channel that um, says how to get the film look, we're usually discussing the word film look from a single perspective, which is the color grading perspective. For example, uh, most films have uh, very desaturated shadows. So as a result, we always advocate for desaturating your shadows here. However, that is only discussing the word film look from the perspective of color grading only. So let's take a look at feature films. You have a lot of different looks for feature films. For example, a comedy film will have different colors, different uh, gradings, different lenses, different depth of field to a horror film, for example, who will have <laughs> that will have different criteria entirely. Uh, it will be darker, much shallower depth of field, um, with different uh, locations, set designs. It will be entirely different with much muted colors in the set design. And the wardrobe will be different. So the question here becomes, what is the film look? If films don't have a look, every genre has a different uh, um, a look entirely. I would argue here to say that film look is not a certain look, is not a certain LUT, is not a certain thing you do to your image. It's two things. The image must be good in every single way. For example, the right lenses that will uh, complement the story you're telling, uh, the right objects in the frame. Sometimes uh, one of the biggest mistakes I see filmmakers do uh, is to have objects in the frame that do not complement the uh, story at all. There is no need for this object to be in this frame at this particular point in time, but it's there. And it usually takes away from how good the film looks because your brain processes every part of the image. The wardrobe, the set design, the acting, uh, all done right. So you have to do everything right visually, and then you have to do everything right in audio. So recording audio very clearly, mixing audio the right way. So doing all this, then conforming it to one of the looks that we usually see in, uh, uh, in feature film production. That would be the film look. So it's basically doing everything right and then making the final image look like one of the genres we're used to. Because if you think about it, film look is just what we're used to. It's just we like this look because we saw our favorite actors um, you know, our best stories ever, like when you see The Godfather, for example, um, you get drawn to that look because the story just is unbelievable. And it just, the acting, everything just, just drags you to that look. And whenever you see that look again, your brain associates it with, with being very high quality. I, I love this look. So basically, film look is the look that we got used to over 100 years of feature films. I hope you like this. If you like it, please visit us uh, at filmsimplified.com where you can join our free resolve crash course. Uh, it's a crash course that is designed for the absolute beginner and can get you started through every tab in resolve. Thank you. filmsimplified.com